chicken crunch burger with the chips on it, the bacon, the melted cheese, sesame seed bun. All right, so I had the pleasure of finally trying Bobby's Burger Palace. I've heard about this place for years. I've been watching Food Network for years. I've been in the know of what Bobby Flay has been doing, but I haven't had the opportunity to eat at his restaurant. So I was at the Heathrow Jackson International Airport, Atlanta. So it's set up a little bit differently. You go up, you order, and then they give you your receipt and a number for your order, and then the server at your table brings your drinks and your food, and you just pay off that ticket after you just took it, which is kind of different, kind of odd. Um, so the burger came out, and I was a little bit disappointed in the presentation because I've seen pictures of it, and it looked uh, better than what I had received. The bun looked the same, but just the plating looked a little bit sloppy. Um, I could tell that the plates were a little bit like a of a solid plastic. It wasn't like fine chi like chinaware like a, you would expect at a Bobby Flay restaurant. But nonetheless, the components of the burger were quite good. It was a nice bun to uh, go up against the nice uh, beefy patty that they had. And they passed the test on the melty cheese. I can't stand when I go to uh, rest burger joints and their cheese is just limp. It's not gooey or runny. But here it was melted, it was dripping down from the burger, so I was happy on that. The meat on this was actually very good. It, it powered through the cheese, it powered through the bun. Um, it was very meaty. It was a good quality meat, I could tell I, it was juicy. I really enjoyed it. The bacon was alright. It did add a nice crisp to it, um, but it wasn't thick or anything like that. It was very thin. If it was thicker, I think it would be much better. But the main thing is I got the bacon crunch burger and I didn't get much crunch. There was a few bites that the chips really came through, but other than that, you couldn't really tell the chips were on there. It wasn't that crunchy. So if they had thicker chips as well or just more of them spread throughout the burger, it would have been much better. But basically, I would say this is a really good cheeseburger. Like minus the bacon and the chips, the cheese was melted. Like I said, the meat was good quality and the bun was great. So no complaints on the the most important parts, which is the burger, cheese, and bun. So I'm happy on that. I would try this place again. All I had was the burger. I didn't try fries or shake or anything like that. I just wanted to try the burger. And Bobby did a really good job, minus those few tweaks I would change. And maybe if I actually went to a standalone restaurant, it would be a better quality. But right now, if this is where we're starting off, very great. I would give that burger a B minus. Um, not a bad rating at all. And with those few tweaks, it would definitely be in the A range. So if you've been in this Boggers Burger Palace, comment below what you think. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, subscribe because I'm going to be having a lot more videos coming within two months or so. Um, it's your boy Nick. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.